But if you're using the products in the wrong order, it's going to prevent your skin from receiving the full benefits. Welcome to Ipsy U Beauty 101, where we're talking about the order of applying your skincare products. And even though I'm over 40, you're never too young or old to start a skincare regimen. So let's get started with the morning skincare routine. I know I always feel my best when I get up a little earlier in the morning so I have extra time for my skincare routine, and I would encourage you to do the same. So the first step is face cleanser. Today I'm going to be using First Aid Beauty Facial Cleanser and you just massage some into your skin and then rinse and dry. Next up is Pixie by Petra's Glow Tonic. This helps to exfoliate your skin, brighten and remove excess makeup. For this product you use a cotton round and apply it to your face and neck. The next step I'm using Dermadeli's Pumpkin Seed Serum. You just apply it all over your face and your neck and it's perfect for normal to dry skin. The next step is Origins Defense SPF 20 Eye Cream. I apply this around the eye area very gently with my ring finger and I place it all the way around the orbital bone so the entire eye area is protected from the sun and it's also really good at fighting fine lines and wrinkles. Next up is Murad's Moisturizer with Vitamin C and SPF 30. This product is great for the daytime because it has SPF and the Vitamin C helps to brighten and it really helps protect your skin from environmental pollutants. So if you don't have a face cream that has SPF in it already, you can use two separate products. The first product is Youth to the People Kale, Spinach, Green Tea, and Hyaluronic Acid. You just apply that all over your face and neck, followed by Kula's SPF 30 product. Next up is Lasting Smiles Peppermint Lip Balm. It's refreshing and feels amazing going on. Apply it over clean lips. It's refreshing and feels amazing going on. My favorite thing about this brand is that each product helps fund cleft surgeries for children around the world. Now let's get into the nighttime skincare routine. There are even more steps for this routine, but don't worry, you can include just the steps that work best for your skin. So the first step is eye makeup remover. You just apply some to a cotton pad and gently sweep it across your eye to remove eye makeup, and it even removes waterproof makeup. Next up is simple micellar cleansing water. You just apply it with a cotton round, and it removes all of your makeup, and it's great for sensitive skin. The next step is facial cleanser. I'm using the same cleanser from my daytime routine, the First Aid Beauty Facial Cleanser. You can skip this step if you'd like to and just use the micellar water, but this time I'm double cleansing. Next step is this Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Exfoliator. You just apply it in circular motion and rinse your skin clean, and this is a product you should only use one or two times a week. Next up is Murad's Essence. I like to apply this product directly with my fingertips so I can press it into my skin. This is a super hydrating step of your skincare routine. Next step, I'm gonna mask. This time I'm gonna use a sheet mask and I'm using Timeless Beauty Bar Up in the Clouds. This mask has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid so it's super brightening and hydrating. And a mask like this you should use at least once a week. Another option for masking is a clay mask. I'm using the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. It has vitamin C to help brighten the skin and also pulls out toxins in your skin. You just apply a thin layer around your face, leave on for 10 minutes and then wash off with warm water. Next is an optional step, is First Aid Beauty's Retinol Serum. Retinol is a wonder product. It helps to fight hyperpigmentation, fights wrinkles, boosts collagen, and can even fight acne. Now, this type of product you should use two to three times a week while you build up a tolerance to it because retinol can be drying or can be irritating to your skin and you can work up that tolerance and use it every night if you feel comfortable. The next step is I'm going to use the Dermadeli Pumpkin Seed Serum that I use for my AM routine. I just place a few drops in the palm of my hand, warm it up, and then press it into my skin. This product is really hydrating and it's also vegan. And the next step is one of my favorites. It's a hydrating mist by Juice Beauty. You just spray it all over your skin. It's cool and refreshing and provides extra hydration. Next up is this Bare Minerals Gel Eye Cream. You just place some on your ring finger and gently press it and tap it around your eye area. Next up is Murad Retinol Night Cream. You just apply it to your face and neck and this cream is extra thick for nighttime to provide hydration while you're sleeping. Next up is Bare Minerals Neck Cream. Don't forget about your neck before you go to sleep. It's extra smoothing and hydrating and you just apply it to your neck and massage it in before you go to bed. Now you want to apply a facial oil. I'm using Tarte's Maracuja Oil. You can apply it from your face all the way down to your neck to lock in extra moisture. And when you have leftover oil, you can massage it into your cuticles. 
Next, I apply my Lasting Smiles Peppermint Lip Balm, the same lip balm that I applied in the morning. I like to use it twice a day because it keeps my lips extra smooth. So the final step is a hand cream. I'm using Sol Janeiro's Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And applying moisture to your hands is often a forgotten step, but your hands go through so much during the day. This product helps to tighten and smooth the skin on your hands. I hope you found this video helpful. I know it can be so many steps to remember, so to help you out, we created a step-by-step -step skincare guide that you can access down below. Make sure to like this video and leave a comment below. I'm Trina, thanks for watching Ipsy U Beauty 101. I'll see you next time, bye.